Put the motherfucking pads on. Put them on. Stop all the talking. Stop all the chit chat. Stop all the tweets, all the posts, all the comments, and put the motherfucking pads on. That's what needs to happen between Jack State University and the University of Southern Mississippi. Before I get into it, y'all need to go ahead and do this. If you ain't goddamn did it already, goddamn it, go ahead and do that right now. It costs you nothing. It costs you nothing. You feel me? To all y'all real ones who have already done so, I appreciate you. But let's get into it. I saw that Jackson State fans and Southern Miss fans engaged in a bunch of shit talk last week. Okay? And somehow I got caught up in it because my dog, Coach Simmons, added me in and talking about, do I want some of this smoke? Now, Coach, why you put me in this? Well, I know why. Because I am the man in this sports media game who is uniquely qualified to speak on these two institutions. You feel me? Jackson State University is the illustrious school that I was born into. My mother has her degree from Jackson State University. My sister has her degree from Jackson State University. It's the first uh, uh, university that I put my feet on. You feel me? Uh, uh, my sister is a professor there right now. You understand? I did my graduate work at Jackson State University. I wouldn't have been able to get my teacher certification if it was not for Jackson State University, okay? But then you have the University of Southern Mississippi, which is the school that I chose to go to for my undergraduate studies. It is the school that I graduated number one with a degree in psychology. You feel me? It is the place where I met my brother, Tim G. Jacob, my brother, uh, uh, JoJo. It's the place where me and my brother, Ray Cesar Leo's relationship became even better. It's where we became brothers. You understand? Okay. So I am the one in this space who's uniquely qualified to speak on these institutions. And I'm telling you what needs to happen. They need to put the motherfucking pads on. The kids want to play. The young men want to play on both sides. Jackson State's players, they want the challenge. They want it. Because we damn near beat Monroe last year. Okay? That was a dub. We could have got anything really going offensively. That was a motherfucking dub. So they want it, okay? Those young men want it. Those young men in Southern Miss want it too. If you're a real one, you watch my interview with my youngin, one of my boys that I, I, I taught this young man, I coached this young man. He's a super back down there at Southern Miss. His name is Antavius Willis. I love him dearly. He, he wants to play. He wants to play. Mr. Frank Gore. If you if you follow his account, he's been tweeting out shit for the longest. Put Jack Stay on the schedule. He wants it. So if the kids want it, what we need to do as the grown folks is turn the politics off and allow the young men to put the pads on. That's what needs to happen. That's what needs to happen. Okay. See all these motherfuckers talking about uh, uh, Jack State jumping up to the goddamn Big Ten. Shit, let us show that we can uh, prove ourselves in a win like this against somebody in the Sun Belt. You feel me? And this is weird. These are both of my wee schools. <laughs> so when I say we, I might get mixed up. But these both, hey, these are both my, my schools. You feel me? But uh, uh, we down at Southern Miss, we need something like this too. Southern Miss has no in-state rival. You got Mississippi State and Ole Miss going to play the egg boat. You know it. Jackson State got smoke with all corn in the Valley game. Even though, you know, we dominate the series, 
it's still going to be shit talk between Valley fans and Jack State fans. You feel me? Southern Miss ain't got shit like that in this state. When I was down there, the rivalry, the rivalry, excuse me, was with Memphis. And they would call it the black and blue game. You feel me? That shit ain't even like that no more. You know? Because Memphis left the, the uh, Conference USA. You know what I'm talking about? So, you need this. Okay? So, Coach Hall, we, we got to get this done. Now, I have sources that tell me she was supposed to happen. That one side backed out. And that it wasn't Jackson State University. Okay? I've, I've known this for quite some time. And I didn't say anything about it because I was asked to keep it on the hush. Because it still talks in the work for them to play in the near future. That's what I heard. That's what I heard at the time. Okay? That's what I heard at the time. Uh, I don't know if that has changed since I had that conversation with my source, but I know that that's what uh, uh, was being told. That's what was being said at that time. Okay? So I hope nothing has changed. I, 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 I hope that they get an opportunity to pad up and go out there and ball out. Shit, set up a home and home. Set up a home and home. And get it done. Everybody would goddamn love that. People of Mississippi would love that. Make it something you do annually. Shit. Fuck it. Pad up. Helps both schools. You feel me? Now, that's another thing I want to touch on, though. With this, y'all know how I get down. Y'all know this is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. So you know I got to bring you some of this real shit too. Now, some of the comments that I saw in the dialogue between the fan base lets you know just how much some people don't pay attention to black people. Okay, because just some of the shit that was said was like, come on now. I, I totally oblivious to what the fuck is going on. Like, I saw one comment where the brother said, put 12,000 fans in the stands with a question mark and a laughing emoji. Now, this was a Southern Miss fan going back at a Jackson State fan. Put 12,000 fans in the stands. Again, this is one of those examples where white people don't not paying attention to black people. Oh, uh, another one. This is a Southern Miss fan going back at a Jack State fan. If Dion left, they would be back to irrelevance and 4,000 fans in the stands operating in the red per usual. 4,000 fans? What the fuck? See, this is the type of shit that I was talking about when I made that video, Jack State is just different. If y'all watched that, I appreciate you. If you missed that, go check it out. pre Deion Sanders, Jackson State University football has been relevant in the HBCU space. It's been relevant in FCS. Whether the team is in SWAC championship contention or not, for the fuck boy that tried to say something about that, oh, y'all ain't y'all before and eight before prime came. Motherfucker, I was talking about the passion, the intensity, uh, of the support of the fan base pre prime. Okay, take a look at this. This is from 2019 attendance 
2019 attendance. Once again, Jack State led the FCS, not the SWAC, not HBCUs. Jack State led the FCS in attendance with 30, an average of 33,762 uh, people. 33,762 people on average attendance. That's pre prime. That's during the season where they went four and eight, where they went three and four in the conference. What are we? 33,000. In contrast, that same year, Southern Miss only had 24,765 as the average attendance. 33,000, 24,000. And Cud talking about 4,000? Cud talking about 12,000. What the fuck? It's one of the things I find tragic about this country, for real, for real. That for black people to flourish in this country, we have to be aware of white culture. Is we must be aware of white culture. There's no way around it. We have to. You have to speak the English language. You have to know uh, the customs of America. You got to know all this shit. You got to know to, to get by in school. You got to know white history. You got to know that shit. But white brothers and sisters don't have that same thing. They don't have to know black customs. They don't have to know black slang terms. They don't have to know in school, you don't have to know black history to pass your US history test. You really don't. I, I'm an expert on that. I used to teach US history. A kid could get on there and miss all the uh, questions dealing with black history and still could pass the test. But a black kid could not get on there and miss all the questions dealing with primarily white related subjects and still pass the test. Can't do it. We got to know what's going on. So then when you look at this debate, 4,000 fans, 12,000 fans. They gonna uh, uh, somebody said well last time we played y'all we beat y'all fifty five to seven we'll do the same thing. You not see what the fuck Jackson State been bringing in in, in recruiting? The Jackson State's recruiting classes have been better than Southern Misses, and that some of these are not just Travis Hunter and Kevin Coleman. You getting? Uh, uh, transfers from these schools too, just like Mr. James Houston, who was a transfer from Florida, came to Jack State, dominated, boom, off to the Detroit Lions. You got guys like that. A brother like Mr. Aubrey Miller, first team all swag, who went, who came from Missouri. Now, I'm just, you know, they're not paying attention to that. Now, Southern Miss been killing it in the transfer portal, too. I did a segment on it. Did a segment on it. So, and, and my young boy, Antavius, tells me that Coach Hall is doing some good, good things down there. But it's like the white, some of the white brothers uh, are oblivious to that. And I'm assuming those were brothers behind the counter. Could have been a sister. Uh, now, one brother spoke like he had some sense. He was like, you know, he thought Southern Miss would win, but he was saying that it would be much closer than people anticipate and was just thinking that USM's uh, depth would get to Jackson State. Okay. I can accept that point. Even though I don't know about that, again, if recruiting is the lifeblood of college football, then goddamn. In 2021, Southern Miss had the 123rd ranked recruiting class. And this is by 24-7 Sports, okay? 
and that included nine three stars. In that same year, Jackson State had the 55th ranked recruiting class, okay, with seven three stars. So Southern Miss had, had more, but they had five four stars. Okay, that's 2021. You might say, well, well, Southern Miss were killing it in the transfer uh, space. Like I just alluded to, all right, in this class. Even with that, Southern Miss has, by 24-7, the 84th ranked recruiting class, 2022, all right, which includes hella, hella three stars, 28 of them motherfuckers, okay? Whereas Jackson State has the 74th class, okay? Only 14 three stars. But they got a four star, and you got the number one player in all of the nation, in Travis Hunter. What are we talking about? So when I saw a brother say, "Well, Jack Staler got like four players who could play," he called D one, uh, but everybody else couldn't even sniff the FBS level. What? Did They're not paying attention, totally oblivious. And we we just don't exist like that. We just don't exist like that. We be no, even the most diehard HBCU motherfucker gonna know what Alabama and Clemson and uh, all these motherfuckers doing. Even in this state, they know what state and Ole Miss doing and shit like that. Supposed to be aware of what the fuck going on. You keep up with sports. But when you say shit like, Jack State gonna get blown out again with these recruiting class, when you say they only got one or two or maybe four cats that can play, when you say that uh, you got 4,000 motherfuckers in the stands, pre-prime, and for them to have, for Jackson State to be better than Southern Miss in all of these categories, that just means you fucking oblivious. And I'm hoping it's just that. I'm hoping it's not just some racist bullshit like ain't no way y'all better like no 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 okay this would be a good game i think both institutions would benefit from this shit both financially uh just in uh, in terms of building football culture in the state now jack state like i said already got rivals okay already got rivals uh but southern miss does have a bigger fan base at least by attendance numbers or just by attendance numbers so all come folks folk don't get mad but at least by attendance numbers southern miss got more people than than all corn and mississippi and mississippi valley state so shit, that could be you got uh, uh jackson state southern miss fan base both would probably travel well. The vet would be full. The rock would be full. The kids uh, uh, enjoy playing one another. Pad the fuck up. Pad up. Let's get it done. So whoever on the Southern Miss side who ain't trying to let this happen, get on out the way. When I was there, the motto was anyone, any place, anytime, something like that. Well, if that's still the case, make this shit happen. All right? Because people here throughout the state, we need that. All right? Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.